don't know why I have this mask on by myself. Hi, guys and gals, gals and guys. It's Chris Mojo from MyMediaHelper.com. And today we are going to open up an HP ZBook 17 G3 and take a look inside and look at the hard drive. And if you need to replace one, I can show you exactly where it is. Um, I open a lot of different types of laptops. Um, so I said, what the hell, why not uh, do some videos on me opening a various uh, variety of laptops just to show you what they look inside. And if you have one you have to, to get inside, then um, you'll see how that's done. So I just did a review. Actually, I bought this kit um, like a week ago, and I just actually posted a review on it. And it does the job very good. It's got 142 pieces in here, a lot of bits. And for this HP, it's got like these stars. I'm not really sure what you call them, and there's no way you're going to be able to see that. But uh, it's like a um, five, um, it's like a star. It's exactly a star, a five pointed star. Um, and that's exactly what these screws are. So there's quite a few of them. So now we're going to just um, I think this is the right bit. This might be a little small. I think I think a bigger bit. Oh. A small bit, I guess, for that. So we'll get a bigger bit here. Um, oh, yeah, 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 okay. Took it from the wrong side. It goes right here. All right, so that's not the star one. This is a, um, it's still like a five. I'm not really sure what they're called, if they're called. I don't think they're called torques. Um, but um, it was kind of hit or miss as far as which one I could use, but I finally found one to use it. And then let's get these screws out of here. There's quite a few of them. They're quite long. Uh, and the cool thing about this kit is you can just keep your finger on the top here and just spin it around. Can you believe how freaking long these freaking screws are? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I could panel my house with that. I don't have a house, but I could panel a house with that. All right. So, so this is basically um, what I do as far as uh, my daily tasks here is um, I unscrew and open a hell of a lot of laptops and desktops, and I take the drives out of them, and um, they're documented, and then the, the drives are destroyed because... Uh, there's possibly important information on there that doesn't need to, no one never needs to see that. So everything is documented and the drives are destroyed and taken by another company that um, I guess melts them down for for the resources, right? They're, they're metal. I'm not sure exactly what metal hard drives are made out of. I don't know. It's metal, iron? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me, I guess. If you have an idea what a hard drive is made out of, um, put it down in the comments. But there are a lot of screws on these suckers, but they're pretty easy to get off. And... We don't get in here and repair them. The only thing we would do is maybe possibly put in RAM um, if someone needs it. But um, these are usually under warranty, so some, someone from, say, Dell or HP would come and um, they're under warranty. They would repair them if that was the case. Um, this one's going to be a bitch, isn't it? There's always one. There's one in every crowd. These are fairly new computers, but uh, I think the warranty was up on them. I checked uh, 2019. Does that sound right? I think it was 2019. But the computer is not that old. So the computer will be sent to um, a particular company that, again, will strip it. I'm assuming for parts or recycle the parts, melt, melt everything down, I'm assuming take the parts out and I sort of resell them. I assume a lot, don't I? <laughs> but it goes recycle. It doesn't go in the garbage. <clears throat> the screws go in the garbage, but 
That's the only thing that goes in the garbage. I think I took that off. I can take that off. That one looks gone. That one looks gone. They all look gone. I'll do them all. A couple up here. And um, so everything is documented. So if there's ever a question, every serial number of every drive is documented. So if there's ever a question where that where that drive is. Um, Ideally, we would have the documentation for it. So that is what I do as part of my, um, part of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're curious, I'm just kind of filling time when I get this, um, get this off of here. Uh, so I don't know, hopefully if someone wants to be in IT or wants to get into IT, it's, it's fairly, I don't have a degree or anything. Uh, I just learned everything on YouTube. Jeez, go, go figure. I'm making uh, tutorial videos on the place where I learned all this crap. All right, so that's enough of me gibbing and gabbing. So there is tools in here, which I haven't used yet. All right, so yes. Get this shit open. I'm not exactly sure how. Usually I just use my fingers. Right, there we go. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, there we go. There's the inside. Okay, there's your hard drive right there. And um, let's see, battery. Not 100% sure what this stuff is there's the fan obviously fans i should say uh, so you would need further looks like i can't tell if those are phillips or um that's not what i wanted to do These are Phillips. Okay. All right, and then from there, you got to get a Phillips screwdriver. I can use a Phillips bit. I just, would just have to find it. Where did they get, get in there? Okay. I might have to get a little Phillips bit. Those are really small. Yeah, she does a job. Looks like there's four holding them in place, holding her in place. collect all your hardware um, you don't want to have it end up in the PC in this particular laptop in this particular case it doesn't really matter because this is being recycled but if you're opening it up to um, replace your hard drive this is what you're gonna do and then you take it off on the side here hopefully you have better vision than I have Reading glasses on. Okay, let's take this out. Oops. Probably don't break that. All right, you're going to take that out. You're going to put the new drive in. And just a minute. metal piece obviously because you're gonna screw your drive back in mm -hmm. Oops. Oops. 
Jesus. Okay. The track comes out. Put your new drive back in there. Put that right back on top, and then you're just gonna screw them back in. I'm not sure. Um, not sure without glasses. Uh, what these are exactly? I'd have to look up the the part the part number and everything. All right, gals and guys, that is uh, how you. Um, what was this one again? That's how you unscrew and get into your HP Z Book 17 G13. Take out your drive and put your new drive in if you need to. And that is this tutorial. And I thank you as always. If you could please subscribe, join, which I guess is the same thing. Um, like you can share this if you would like to other IT geeks or non geeks. And then hit that bell for. Um, updates if you could all right guys and gales gales and guys i'm not sure if this helped anyone out there i just happened to be doing it here so i thought i'd just film it just in case and i'll throw it up on youtube and why there's that i was just checking the time all right kids thank you take care and i'll catch you next time